I've uh, actually was uh, in America when um, when your first album, well, the first day before RCA was released. Yeah. Um, and even at that point, um, I was sort of hanging to, you know, um, speak to you and then say, can we come back to South Africa and spent the last three years writing about it. Um, it's, it's actually great to actually finally get to speak to you. Well, I'm glad. There I was oblivious. You see. <laughs> there I was oblivious. Well, as I say, um, I must admit, I, I was uh, I knew the new album was coming. I just wasn't anticipating it coming so soon, which is not a bad thing. Um, I promise you that much. But uh, from what I'm told at uh, at BMG, it's it's going to be sort of late April. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're putting it out over here. I think yeah, the 21st of April. So it'll probably be around the same time over there. Right. right. Um, it's a change for us, but no, but no, no, I, I don't think that. We're sort of, we're partially known over there, right? Yeah, I uh, not, Yeah, a BMG not being the strongest record company in South Africa. You'll be surprised. Uh, but they do well, hey? Yeah, they've, uh, they've actually got the, uh, the, the market share as far as, uh, as far as sales are concerned. Oh, cool. Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I've, I've been over there a couple of times since I, I was over there, uh, you know, for Christmas and New Year's. Right, right. I, I try to come back every year. Good. Yeah, yeah, I think I actually missed you. I actually heard that you were out there by the time you had left. <laughs> so it was yeah, I mean, this time I tried to be particularly quiet about it. Yeah, it's, yeah and, and, and rightly so, I mean, understandably so as well, you know. Um, but um, as I say, just from, from my perspective and, and sort of following uh, the career of the Dave Matthews Band, uh, to me what makes it so great is the fact that uh, it's sort of uh, the success of the independence, you know, into the world of commercialism, if you have to sort of... Uh, you know, analyze it, which I sadly do. But uh, would you sort of agree with, with with that kind of analogy? Yeah, I think we've we've been we've been lucky. Just uh, w whether it's luck or just just our uh, uh, how adamant we all are, just to to, uh, to not really pay too much attention to to what to to the I guess the sort of the promotional side of the industry and and uh, not not pay too much attention to uh, the, the the media side of it you know uh, although you know we obviously when, when someone wants to talk to us even if it takes three years we do eventually <laughs> but uh, you know our, our focus has always been sort of just playing because we love it we love playing so much and then also obviously performing those uh, performing and then making albums that's just so that's sort of where we how we started. We, we, initially, when we first got together, we, we were more, I guess, a little more focused on the, what he very, right at the beginning, was, uh, maybe see if we get a re record deal or, or a, uh, but, but there was, uh, there was just, there was silence at the other end. There was no bottom to the well. So we, we very quickly, even with, within, a, I guess, a couple of months of starting, play, starting to play together, we gave up on that and just, just started, uh, Playing in front of people, you know, just just playing gigs, and, and and that turned out well for us. So that by the time any of the industry was was interested, whatever record companies, we were sort of well, we don't have time for you right now. <laughs> it's a lovely so, place to be. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was it was lucky, you know, even if we didn't re realize it at the time, that 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 made the deal a lot sweeter for us. So we've we've been a although we're fairly fairly well behaved, we've been able to be. Uh, at least uh, sort of uh, uh, unreachable in some ways by the, from the industry. We, well, I thought because I, I think it actually uh, it changed the rules a bit. I think as far as the industry was concerned, with especially with the way in which you know um, the whole RCA deal came about, which I thought was was great for the you know to the benefit of bands. Period. Yeah, the the, the well, fact that, that we put out a, they let us put out a couple of. CDs before after we had agreed to sign with them. Yes, we, we did so, uh, but but we said before we will agree to, to that, that when we do release an album on a on a major label that we'll do it with you. But let us put a couple of albums out by ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was a really really uh, a good thing for us, you know, and I think for our our fan base at that time. Right, right. So that was obviously you know even with the benefit of hindsight, that was obviously. Uh, you know, you were happy with the route that you, you, you took in establishing yeah. the Dave Matthews Band? Yes, yeah, certainly was. Right, right. And uh, as I say, w 
with the, with everything that uh, you know that the band has done so far, is there any sort of aspect of it that you look back on now and actually say, okay, well, you know, we've done. I mean, you've done a damn fine job up till now, but th there would be anything that you would have wanted to have done differently. Um, I, it's sort of it's, it's sort of hard for me to be to be objective about it. Uh, uh, when I look back, I guess it's easier to be objective uh, objective about it looking back than it is during during the. Uh, how, uh, when the whole thing unfolds, but I think it, I, I think it's, uh, but it still feels fairly fresh. Uh, I, I can't really think of anything I would have liked, liked to have changed. I just feel so lucky about how it, how it went so far. You know, there's, I always, you know, I, I always have complaints, but I can't really think of one that shines out brighter than my, uh, than my, uh, than my gratitude because I'm just amazed. That, that the you know the the success of sort of none of us would have expected it just because uh, we're all sort of more into into jazz or folk music or whatever. So the fact that you know it just it just surprised us. I think we were all feeling like maybe we'd be in some sort of uh, I don't know some some sort of vein of folk and maybe we'd be somewhere. You know, in, in, a, in, a, in a small theater as opposed to the success that, that we've had I think we're all pretty amazed by it because were, were you ac actually anxious about um, Crash's possibilities you know after, uh, after you know the success that you had with uh, with the RCA debuts was I uh, sorry uh, were, you, were you anxious when you know when, when it came to releasing to say the second uh, the second album oh. A little bit, but not really, because I thought the second one was it was it was quite different from the first. I mean, it still sounded like us because it mm. was us, but but we did we, we we played it you know a little bit differently. It was a little looser, but also uh, maybe a little bit bigger production. Um, no, I wasn't really. I wasn't really thinking because I thought the way I feel about it, working with Steve on both, Steve Lillywhite on both, uh, he sort of has the same attitude. Uh, just. You know that you know we did incredibly well on the first one, and then the second one is we're going to put it out, and we we all felt it was really good, and you know we were excited about it because it was different. So um, it was it wasn't so much you know there's a little bit of anxiety, but I don't think I had nearly the anxiety that uh, that RCA had. <laughs> I think they were much more you know they were much more concerned. And this album, they're they're they're, they're very excited about the latest album that we've just finished. Okay. Um, but uh, but they're also you can start you can see them sweating. They're top yeah. lifters. They're nervous. They're, they're you know they're, they're all they, they act really confident when they're around us. Yeah. They make us feel better. But I'm I'm fairly you know I think it's a, the, the next one is also good. So uh, I'm more uh, anxious for the date to come out when it's released than I am right. for how it's going to do. You know I want to. I want to see what the cover looks like. And, right. You know, you know, well, actually, I'm working on that right now, but I want to see what it's like when it's in boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, as I said, um, just from a you know, title point of view, um, you know, be before these crowded streets is, to me, sort of suggestive of, you know, suggestive of being uh, reflective of the, of the past two major label uh, albums that you've done. You know, sort of a crossroads, if you will. Yeah, I think I think it I think it is. You know, and we were going through a lot of different, a lot of different uh, names and, and or titles for this album, and uh, they were all they were all sort of looking forward, and they were all sort of uh, uh, a little bit aggressive, and and I wasn't really sure about um, about any of them, but then uh, it's a it's a line in one of the songs, and. Uh, and when I thought when I thought of that, I thought, "Wow, that's, that's, that, that was the one that stuck to me." Yeah, it sort of it, it struck me as appropriate mm -hmm. because the album is sort of like that too. I think. Yeah, because the sets it's been suggested to me, yeah to me again from from the label that this that this album is is a is a tad heavier than you know than the previous two. Uh, what actually makes it so? I think well, I think uh, the, the songs are. A little. There's a few more dark songs. Although there's a, there's, a, there's an extremely light song, but uh, you know, but it's just more a summertime song. But most of the songs, even the ones that are uh, uh, you know a little positive, uh, even then they're they're, they're sort of, they're, they're still reflective of something a little more weighty. I think the whole the whole album is just a. Uh, 
a little darker, not not necessarily, but not not but not 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 negative at all. You know, I think it's just got a lot of positive feels to uh, feelings in it. Just it, uh, it just it just uh, it's maybe it's a little a little more aggressive, um, and so hopefully uh, <laughs> it's a little older too. Mm-hmm, because but, uh, it's just yeah, I sound older certainly. I think it's twenty a day that. That over the past few past few years, have started to be sounding a little thicker around a little, the horse, <laughs> a little horse around the neck area. But it came out okay. Yeah, because um, as I say, when uh, you know, when when you look at the uh, as I say, uh, by comparison, each album has has always been uh, or seemed to be more ambitious. Uh, you know, musically, actually on all levels. Um, you know, where you sort of push the envelope a little further um, and. You know, maybe experiment, experiment a little bit more, or, or maybe sort of where you, you know, started to be happy with uh, putting your, you know, you know putting your um, your music across in the way that you wanted it to be. Um, is is the new album also indicative of that? Yeah, I think we're taking a, a lot more chances. Just we're, we're doing a lot more uh, with our time. We're doing a little more, going a little more out on the time signatures, and we've we've gotten friends, some different friends, mainly friends from uh, Virginia, but we're different players from around the country that sat in on this new album. Right, right. Uh, a friend of mine, that, uh, a woman singer, she's she's sitting in, but I can't. I'm not allowed to say. I'm not at liberty to say okay. who it is. Okay. But but and she sings beautifully on it. And I've got a friend of mine who plays banjo, and he's. He's on like three songs, and uh, we have a, a classical quartet from San Francisco that we wrote some parts for, it called Kronos Quartet, and they're they're on the album on a couple of tunes. And uh, I have a, a, a friend of mine from who plays with Bruce Hornsby, a trumpet player who's also a great jazz player. He's he's a uh, he plays a little uh, trumpet. And he helped me with the scoring for the quartet. We've got a Chapman stick player and a, a guy, Carter, our drummer, used to play with, uh, who plays piano and organ a little bit. So we, we just sort of, and it's not, it's not, it's not like we won't be able to do it by ourselves. It's just, it just added a, right. a new aspect. And, and Tim Reynolds, uh, the, another guitar player that we record with quite often, that we have, and uh, that I tour with, just the two of us sometimes. He's, he, we gave him, we gave him a little more solo time. Right. And so, so it, it, it's 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 wider, and there's a there's also some there's more there's very manic sections, which is which, and we come right 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 off the bat, we come in with a right. kind of a mad uh, mad music, and it and it eases after it, after the uh, insane introduction, it sort of eases up on you. It's a little journey this album a little bit more, mm-hmm. and, and, and the fact. The fact that we'd, with the other albums, we'd sort of, uh, we'd been playing the songs and built up the repertoire, uh, repertoire until we got to uh, the studio. And then basically, on uh, the first album, we had a choice of 30 songs. Yeah. Um, and we just recorded whichever ones we felt like. And then on the second album, we did, there were maybe two songs that we hadn't, that I hadn't, uh, we'd never played in front of people. But basically, there was only two, and the rest were songs we'd been working on. and. And we we chosen from those. And this album, even though we had about thirty, I guess probably about thirty songs that we that, that we you know been messing around with for, over the last few years as well, I decided that uh, that I would write all new stuff. And so basically went into the studio and and and, and, and I had all this new stuff. And Stefan and I had worked on some of it, so we're sharing the the, the writing on that. Stefan, the bass player, right. we wrote we wrote a little bit together. And, so basically, this album is also all new stuff. So it's got a kind of a fresh, loose feel to it. Which you know, we're tight, but it's tight in sort of a, it's sort of a, a relaxed way. Yes, yes, yes. And and is it is it sort of a criteria for you know for, for the tracks to appear on the album based on you having played them live? No, well, it, it, that had been the case. I mean, not that, not really, but but uh, uh, as much as we just had these songs, we were so we were like, well, why, why should we? You know, go out of our way to uh, write new songs when we have these ones that we've been writing, mm-hmm. and uh, so so with this album, we just said uh, I just said no, it's just tell I want to write all new stuff, and so it's got a, a freshness and a and a little it's a little bit vulnerable, I guess, uh, in, in the in the lyrics, and, the, and to me the lyrics make a lot more 
maybe they're a little more clear, but then I'm, I'm a hell of an ambiguous bastard anyway. So, <laughs> so uh, but they're a little clearer for me on this one because I, I we we recorded all the songs in the bass, except for a couple. Like I would sit down in the morning and and listen to the the track without the lyrics and then and without the words and just just pen down different ideas until I came up with something and then in the evening I'd sing it so it has a, there's a freshness to the vocals too. And, um, and, and did you work with Steve Lillie once again? Oh yeah. yeah. It's, uh, we, we just, we're, you know, at this, at this stage we're such great friends that, that it's sort of hard to, uh, it's hard to imagine working with anyone else. Right, right, right. And, and sort of, you know, if you sum it up, have, you know, have you become more complacent based on the fact that uh, yeah, everything is, is, is working as well you know, ha as it has? Um, or is that, is that sort of vitality still very much there? I think it's still there. I think it, 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 it's a mixture, I think. Um, for me, I can't speak for everyone else in the band, but for me, uh, I guess a lot, of, a lot of doors have opened up for, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily have to continue the same way that I have been, uh, but but for me it's more it, the challenge is almost it almost grows now. And so although my my bed is a little softer now, um, uh, and I can afford a, a cappuccino as opposed to just a black coffee. Um, right. Um, I I think that uh, that it's a uh, that because of, of the success we've had so far, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm more afraid of, of putting out crap. Yeah. So, or, or what I think is crap. So maybe I'm, I think I think it's had the opposite effect in a way. I'm, I'm very afraid of, and maybe more of a critic, more critical of what I do now than I than I was before. And that'll probably continue to be the case. Yeah. I hope so. I hope I don't eventually sit, stomach swelling, screaming for beer. And, and, and say, get someone else to write it. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this. Yeah. I, wanna, I hope that never happens. No. If it does, I'll have a good crew of friends who'll shoot me. Right, okay. Um, uh, could I ask you one last favor, uh, Dave? Um, yeah. Would you be able to do an ID for me? No problem. Um, the name of the show uh, that this will, will appear on, as well as obviously in written form, um, is called The Cutting Edge. Uh, uh -huh. If you could play with that as you will, whenever you're ready. Okay. It's, it's a radio show, right? Correct. Okay. Hello, this is Dave Matthews. I have a band named him after myself because I'm not creative at all. But I am as creative as the name of this radio show, which is The Cutting Edge. The Cutting Edge of, of, of popular music is here, is to be heard here on The Cutting Edge. Come and listen to The Cutting Edge. Thank you very much, sir. You can find something in that, kid. Oh, absolutely. No, as I say, thank you very much, and I appreciate Cheers. it. I really appreciate your time. I say I'm looking forward to the new album. Yeah, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you can find something. I hope it wasn't too much of a do -ish. No, it was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was perfect, as I say, and I, I appreciate it. Hopefully, as I say, we can, we can chat again. Uh, okay. But, uh, maybe face-to-face maybe -face when I'm out there sometime. Sounds like a plan, for sure. But uh, as I say, thank you again, and good luck with it all. Okay. Right, you too. Cheers. Have a good weekend. Okay, Thanks. Bye now.